Thank you, Dan. Diana Luther, she's a regular guest here on Live at Five with the Terre Haute Fire Department, is here to talk about some fall fire safety tips. Yes. What are we talking about here? Campfires Camp, and such? Campfire safety. The weather's finally coming down a little yeah, bit, you it know? Is. So, um, uh, most importantly, we get thousands of people coming to the emergency room with burns each mm -hmm. year from campfires. Um, so, being safe. What, what, I mean, stay away from the fire, that type of thing seems to be common right. sense, but what happens? Accidents? People yeah, fall, run people around? people fall into the fire um, or they're trying to put it out and something happens or the flame's too big, they've got yeah. the fire too big. Um, so important things, make sure that you're uh, using an actual pit mm -hmm. rather than just throwing a couple rocks mm -hmm. down around the ground. Yeah. Um, and again, making sure that the keeping it away from buildings, garages, houses, anything, even trees. Sometimes if the flame gets too high, it can get up in the tree. I have seen that happen yeah. before. It and, uh, you know, th those embers can fly pretty high. Yes, right? yeah. Yeah, here's some of the tips if you want to kind of go over those. Yeah, yeah. Uh, make sure you never use gasoline. Remember, that's <laughs> going to follow, and it, it. I've seen that happen as well, too. Oh my so, gosh. Um, And then when you're done, making sure that you have a hose or a bucket of water nearby, some sand, making sure it's fully put out. And especially with the kids, when you're uh, wanting to roast marshmallows, because that's what everybody mm -hmm. wants to do, mm -hmm. um, don't fling the the stick around because no. then they can turn into flying missiles and um, and the stick is very hot as well. What so. uh, what kind of stick do you advise as a firefighter? I would prefer the metal kind. The metal kind. Yeah. Yeah. I've actually uh, crafted uh, like old coat hangers, wire coat oh, hangers, yeah, and that works pretty well. Yeah. But the tips of those could get they really do hot. They get hot. Yeah. So. Uh, well, uh, you're talking about protecting the precious. Basically, that's protecting anybody, right? But especially the young kids. Yeah. Um, we like to remind everybody each year, or each year, each month, to uh -huh. go around and make sure that you're checking your smoke detectors yeah. um, and check every single one of them, too, because they're not programmed together. So. And we hear, you know, we have police scanners here in the newsroom, and we hear every once in a while, we hear fire calls. There was one last night downtown yeah. Terre Haute. Uh, you, don't, you, you don't ever expect a fire. No, and, you and don't. So you want to be prepared. Yes, you do. Have a plan of uh, escape if you need to, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And if you need any kind of detectors, the Terre Haute Fire Department will actually install up to three detectors free of charge. That's great news. That's yeah. great news. Keep safe, and it's free. The three detectors. If you need help checking or installing a smoke detector or want to donate to the smoke detector fund, that's always helpful, yes. right? Then please contact the Terre Haute Fire Department at 812-244-2803 or go on Facebook at Protect the Precious. Thank you so much, Diana. Thank you. And good luck with the, the new uh, arrival thank in you. a few weeks. Yes, thank you. All right, exciting news for yeah. Diana and her husband. Yes. All right.